Hi, it's Lynn Langett, and in today's short screencast about all things data, I'm going to take a look at some of the new features I've discovered in Amazon Web Services S3 Storage Service. So let's get started. Uh, this screencast assumes that you're familiar with the basic functionality, which is to uh, use uh, Amazon Service as a virtual file system in the sky. So I'm just going to say uh, Lynn test ABC and set up my bucket. And it immediately creates a bucket. And inside of the bucket, I can then create a folder, A, B, C, D, and uh, then I can upload files either by uh, um, using my upload button here, or I can uh, do this uh, programmatically through the various APIs. So um, there's been a few basic enhancements here that you might have noticed. Things like if I set the file details, I now can use redundancy storage, encryption, I can set permissions, just more usability, um, also metadata, um, and then I can start the upload and the upload will be there. And then if I want to set actions on this, I can make it public, for example, um, and I can say OK, and then I get a public URL that I can allow people to access. What I found was interesting is some of the actions that are now available at the level of the bucket. So um, I'm going to just uh, explore some of these. Uh, and how you get to that is you go um, up to the, the level of the buckets here and then in the bucket you select your particular bucket and then go to the properties. And now we'll see some things that we expect like permissions on a bucket um, so we can see you know who has access to the contents of the bucket. Um, it looks like we have a bucket policy and this thing called cores configuration. Again, I didn't use these previously, but they look super easy to use right now with the AWS policy generator where you can set a bucket policy and then you can set uh, spe specific actions like create, so on and so forth, and then apply that to your particular bucket. So, I so other things that you can now do through the bucket properties is if I scroll up, and um, I take a look at the bucket. Um, in addition to the bucket policy, I can add this cores configuration, um, which allows cross-origin resource sharing. Um, again, probably there before, but I just wasn't as discoverable. So I thought it was kind of an interesting thing. Another uh, feature I thought was interesting, didn't know it was there, was static website hosting, where you can actually host a website out of S3. Um, and then there's your start document, and your error document, and it even allows redirects. So Another set of features didn't know was there. Um, logging, you can enable logging on buckets so you can have detailed information about access. Notifications, so if there are changes to the bucket, I don't think that's new news. The thing that was really interesting to me and in causing me to make this video more than any of these other usability enhancements is for lifecycle management, you can add rules and rules can age out your content out of your bucket, but rules can now also automatically archive your objects to Amazon Glacier, which I thought was really, really an interesting set of functionality. So if I click Add Rule, and then inside of here, rather than just um, aging out my content from my bucket, I can add a transition, and I can transition to Glacier, and I can add an expiration if I want as well. So either out of my bucket or into Glacier. And if you're going to use this, obviously you should read the documentation to make sure you understand what's the cost and how long it's going to take and all that, but I just thought that was a really uh, great usability enhancement that I wanted to share with my audience because I'm going to use it. Of course, then we have tags. You can add metadata tags, um, notice for costs and things like that for management. Um, another one that I didn't uh, see as uh, easily surfaced is this idea of requester pays. Um, probably was there before, I'm not sure, but um, I'm certainly able to find it now. Um, very, very interesting set of features. And then we have the ability to uh, version. Again, um, an intuitive set of features. I can just turn this on and I can have versioning of my bucket contents. So gotta love S3, great solid service. And now with this new interface, we have an even more usable set of features. So enjoy. Um, so for all things data, this is Lynn Langett and hope I taught you a thing or two about S3. Have a great day.